For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Today we're diving into a hot topic about if Palantir stock is too expensive at $43. This question has been floating around in investor circles, especially considering Palantir Technologies has experienced a roller coaster ride in the market since it went public in late 2020. The data analytics software company, which specializes in artificial intelligence driven platforms, has captured significant attention over the past few years, and its stock price reflects that interest. Part of this hype can be attributed to ARK Invest's chief executive officer, Kathy Wood. Shortly after the initial public offering, Wood frequently made appearances on major financial news outlets, where she strongly advocated for Palantir's potential as a game-changing company in the data analytics space. As expected, her confidence in the company, paired with her reputation for being a savvy tech investor, helped propel the stock to new heights almost immediately after its public debut. Yet, as with many tech stocks, the rapid rise didn't last forever. The next few years were challenging for Palantir, just as they were for many companies in the enterprise software market. The global economic situation was becoming more precarious. And with a troubled economy, enterprise software as a whole saw declining growth. Investors, who initially rode the Palantir wave, started to pull back when the growth figures didn't meet the high expectations. By the time quarter one of 2023 rolled around, Palantir stock had dropped to a humble $6, a long fall from the early days of excitement. However, fast forward to the present, and the narrative around Palantir has shifted once again. The technology sector, especially companies with strong ties to artificial intelligence, has seen an incredible resurgence surgeons over the last year and a half. Artificial intelligence has reignited investor enthusiasm in tech stocks, and Palantir, with its advanced AI capabilities, has been a significant beneficiary of this momentum. Since January 1st, 2023, Palantir shares have skyrocketed by staggering 575%. This kind of growth naturally prompts the question, what is driving Palantir's stock to such heights? While the increased interest in artificial intelligence is a key factor, tying Palantir's stock movement solely to this trend doesn't tell the whole story. There are several underlying elements propelling this upward momentum, and understanding them is crucial if you want to get a clearer picture of Palantir's future. Let's explore five core reasons why Palantir stock is experiencing such a dramatic rise. First on the list is revenue acceleration. Palantir's revenue growth since its initial public offering has been a point of interest for many investors. If you were to look at the company's quarterly revenue data, you'd see a pattern of steady growth over the years, though there have been some periods where the growth was inconsistent. Specifically, between 2021 and 2023, the company managed to grow its revenue, but the pace wasn't as impressive as some had hoped. In fact, there were noticeable stretches of slower growth growth that left many investors wondering whether Palantir had reached its full potential. However, things began to change in early 2023, and the company's revenue growth trajectory took a sharp turn upward. This sudden acceleration is not by accident. In April 2023, Palantir released its fourth major software suite, known as the Palantir Artificial Intelligence Platform. The introduction of this platform marked a significant turning point for the company. Since its launch, Palantir's revenue has been growing at a much faster rate, with the steepening slope of of the revenue chart directly correlating to the success of the Palantir artificial intelligence platform. The second key factor is the expansion of Palantir's use cases. For a large portion of its history, Palantir primarily relied on government contracts. These contracts were predominantly with the United States military and other related government agencies, which used Palantir's software for everything from intelligence analysis to battlefield decision making. While these contracts were highly lucrative, they limited the company's growth to a specific sector. The release of the Palantir artificial intelligence platform, however, has significantly broadened the company's reach. To market the new platform, Palantir began hosting interactive seminars designed to allow business leaders to experience its AI-powered products firsthand. These sessions have been incredibly effective in demonstrating the platform's value, helping corporations identify specific use cases for Palantir's software within their own operations. As a result, Palantir has been able to diversify its client base, with private sector companies increasingly turning to Palantir for their data analytics and artificial intelligence needs. Over the past few years, the company has seen strong growth in this area, which has been a key contributor to its overall success. Next, let's talk about profitability, which is the third driving factor. The combination of accelerated top-line growth and success in penetrating the commercial sector has had a positive impact on Palantir's bottom line. The company's operating margins have widened, and it has now achieved consistent profitability. This is a significant milestone for any company, but especially for a company like Palantir, which has spent years focusing on 
growth over profits. Reaching consistent profitability also had another important consequence. It made Palantir eligible for inclusion in the Standard & Poor's 500 index. In September, Palantir officially began trading as a member of this prestigious index. Inclusion in the Standard & Poor's 500 is not just a symbolic achievement, it is a strong indication that the company's long-term growth prospects are solid. This recognition validates the company's strategy and signals confidence in its future. The fourth factor supporting Palantir's stock rise is institutional buying. Becoming a member of the Standard & Poor's 500 doesn't just come with prestige, it also opens the door for increased institutional investment. Many institutional investors, such as pension funds and mutual funds, are required to invest in companies within the Standard & Poor's 500 index as part of their portfolios. This influx of institutional buying can provide significant support to a company's stock price as larger investors are more likely to hold onto shares for longer periods, reducing volatility, and creating a steady source of demand. Finally, partnerships are another reason Palantir stock is reaching new highs. In addition to its long-standing relationships within the public sector, Palantir has been forging strategic partnerships with some of the biggest names in the technology world. Earlier this year, the company signed deals with Microsoft and Oracle, two of the largest players in the artificial intelligence space. These partnerships are critical, as they allow Palantir to integrate its software with the cloud computing platforms offered by these tech giants, further expanding its reach. Additionally, Palantir's continued involvement in public sector projects, particularly in the defense industry, is a lucrative opportunity as artificial intelligence becomes a more integral part Part of defense technology. While all of these factors suggest that Palantir has a bright future, it's important to take a step back and consider the company's valuation. At the moment, Palantir stock trades at a price-to-earnings ratio of 256, which is extremely high. In fact, it's so high that it may not be the best metric to use when evaluating the company. Although Palantir is now profitable, its net income is still relatively small. The company does have several catalysts that could help it grow its profits in the future, but for now it's fair to say that the price-to-earnings ratio ratio is somewhat disconnected from Palantir's current fundamentals. Even when looking at the stock's price-to-sales ratio, the valuation still appears stretched when compared to other companies in the artificial intelligence software as a service industry. That said, rather than focusing solely on these traditional valuation metrics, it's essential to think about the broader trends and market themes that are shaping the future of artificial intelligence and data analytics. In the long run, Palantir is well positioned to benefit from these secular trends, and its leadership in artificial intelligence gives it a competitive edge in a fast-growing market. However, it's important to remember that growth stocks, especially those with high valuations, tend to be more volatile than the broader market. Palantir is no exception, and the stock will likely continue to experience ups and downs as macroeconomic forces impact the tech sector. While I remain confident in Palantir's potential, buying at this price means accepting that you are paying a premium for the stock. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does require a long-term investment mindset. Investors who believe in the company's ability to capitalize capitalize on its artificial intelligence expertise may find that the current price is justified, but it's important to understand the risks involved. In conclusion, Palantir stock has experienced massive growth in recent months, driven by a combination of revenue acceleration, expanded use cases, profitability, institutional buying, and strategic partnerships. While the company's valuation is high, its long-term potential in the artificial intelligence space is significant. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.